Hello, my name is... Wait, what do you mean I can't say my own name? This thing is literally going on the internet. This can't clearly be that classified if we're posting this publicly. You know what? It's not worth it. I don't care. Anyway, my job is to track down and capture people that are using mech armors illegally. With the past rise of superheroes and superhumans in the world, it's been significantly harder for the average criminal to actually do anything illegal without immediately, you know, getting killed. So, some have sought to level the playing field with mech armors. Today, we will be going over some of those. First is the Super Mario Gang. The gang was led by their leader, a former Italian plumber named Mario Mario, which, yes, I'm aware, is a stupid name. Him. They used to sell shrooms on the streets for a living, but then... Then, more superheroes began popping up, including one named Doug Bowser, who happened to own several banks in the area. They then decided to go try to rob a few of these banks, but found that they couldn't match Doug Bowser's strength and, you know, ability to breathe fire. During this time, Doug Bowser also managed to catch or just King Koopa, as he was known in the superhero community, managed to capture Mario Mario's girlfriend, Hind, who just called herself Princess, which seems like a bit presumptuous, since she had no royal lineage, but, you know, not my place. Anyway, he, he then commissioned a mech armor, something that could allow him to who jump fair distances, and, well, had increased durability. You know, ba basic mech armor stuff. Its main weapon was... I, I don't know what it's called. It's like a grappling hook, but instead of... You know the thing from Mortal Kombat? The get over here thing? It's, it's just basically that. It, on his first fight with Doug Bowser, he actually... King Cooper. He managed to actually hold himself fairly well. And then we were called in... We were chasing him down the basic area, and he was doing his thing, jumping from building to building, when eventually he came to a gap that even he couldn't cross. And then he did the stupidest thing I had ever seen. He decided his best solution was to jump, but halfway through, he just took off the mech suit and threw it at us. His best weapon, he literally just chucked it at us for no reason. He just threw the mech suit at us. Like, why? And then he used the mech suit to jump to the building. And you know what was? It worked. It actually worked. Our next crime is probably our weirdest and also probably our most festive. On Christmas Eve, yes, Christmas Eve, Eve, this creepy guy who had this weird dead eyes that I still can't get over, seriously, weird dead eyes, gave me nightmares, apparently kidnapped a group of like 20-some kids on Christmas Eve by drugging them hot chocolate. We were informed of this because, you know, a giant train mech doesn't really go that unnoticed. I, it, it would be literally impossible for the parents to sleep through a giant train right outside the window. We eventually notified and went to go track this guy down, and funnily enough, it was actually at the North Pole. This was ironic because he actually was telling the kids they were going to go see Santa at the North Pole, which was how he managed to kidnap them. Because apparently, none of these kids ever heard of Stranger Danger. I swear, people these days are getting more and more stupid. Anyway, he, he, we eventually tracked him down at the base of locations, and, and he fought fairly well. 
So, he managed to spring all of the kids, including one who, I'm not lying, his name was Hero Boy. These parents are so uncreative. Anyway, he, but then something strange happened when we tried to apprehend him. The, the suit just vanished. It, it just disappeared. It got up to 88 miles per hour, and then it just vanished. We didn't know why this was until we captured our next guy that we'll talk about after this one. In, in that case, it all kind of made sense. Okay, so the recording here was kind of cut off. So for some reason, the recording stopped. The editor was then promptly slacked. You see, the man that made the last mech armor was named Dr. Emmett Brown, who simultaneously used to actually work for us. He had his own mech armor that had the particular ability to travel through time, using something he called a flux capacitor, which he had installed into the suit itself. The entire reasoning behind this was unknown, but the flux capacitor itself was powered by plutonium, which is a very rare element that these days is really only found with, you know, us, actually. So he immediately stole all the plutonium from our supplies to build this mech suit. So, of course, we had to go track him down. Little did he, we know that he had also started training a protege named Marty McFly to help him train and, you know, experiment the mech armor on. Eventually, we managed to track him down, and we immediately shot him. And later autopsy reports had stated that he died instantly upon the gunshot. Marty McFly, however, escaped with the mech armor, and, well, he seemed to disappear into the time stream. And, you know, hopefully that doesn't cause any issues. I mean, time travel is p tricky and we still don't know how it works. So hopefully that doesn't cause as many, you know, issues as we would expect. So it turns out, quote, Dr. Emmett Brown had himself a bulletproof vest on the day that we were going to attack. You know, as if he saw it coming. And Marty still escaped into the timeline, but came back with the mech suit again. We're still not confirmed if, indeed, this was the fault of the mech suit, Hoot, and managed to change the timeline, or if he just was a very prepared person. He was never one of soundest mind, so right now the current theory is, in fact, that the time line was in fact changed. We have still not managed to capture Emmett Brown or his protege, but we will eventually catch him, because recently we've had a bit more help in the whole time travel department. And, but we've run out of time to talk about that, so if we do another episode, then I will discuss that then.